If I couldn't be a writer or a teacher, I think I would be a minister. What I've come to, to peace with is the idea that we're here to love each other and that love is also, that, that loving each other is also the hardest thing that we can possibly do. Why am I here? I am here in part to be uh, an instrument for the love of God. I mean, I always wanted to be a writer and I've always told stories, but I wasn't really very good at it. In some ways, I just, I had something in me kept trying, even though I would fail. Ernest Hemingway has a line about how to be a writer. Step one, fail. Step two, fail better. So in a way, I feel like, like, like I did a lot of that. And it's funny, I think we writers, especially young writers, students, all of us really, resist revision. We kind of want to, we want the, the, the magic of having gotten our story right the first time. Well, that almost never happens to anyone. Somebody said to me once, the difference between a great musician and a bad musician is that great musicians like to practice. And it, the same is true of, of writers, that you have to want to revise and make your work better, draft through draft through draft. So how did I become myself? I think just sheer dogged cussedness and a desire to tell my story and to be known, to find identity through the telling of the story. If I could tell my younger self anything, it would be just to worry less. Life takes a long time to reveal itself to you, sometimes decades. You know, I wanted to be famous right away. I wanted to be a world famous writer, you know, the day after I graduated from college. I wanted that. And it wasn't going to happen in any big hurry. In some ways, learning what I was actually here for, which was to find the courage to come out as transgender to, and to tell that story. I, you know, I, I was almost 40 before I really kind of had that illumination. If I could tell my younger self anything, it's to be patient. Um, and, and have courage and hold on. It's just because every secret has not yet been revealed to you yet does not mean that you're not learning something and that you're not gaining what you need to gain on your journey to become yourself. I think writers have this ability to stand outside themselves, to both be living in the moment, but also to be outside of themselves, looking on as if they are their own ghost, observing with um, a sense of distance, even when you're in the most intense moment of your life. I admit that there are times when really terrible things have been happening to me. I've been struggling with them, but something in me, something in the back of my mind has also been thinking, this is gonna be a great story. I think to some degree, we have to learn that what we think of as our greatest curse may turn out to be our great gift. I always thought that being transgender was the worst turn of events that could have happened to me. I thought that it was, I thought it was stupid. I thought it was this insane affliction that I was the only person in the world who, who suffered from. And in time, I learned that it was, that it was a gift, that it was the thing that I was here to explore and to talk about and to be um, and to be proud of. And it gave me, I mean, how many people get to view the world from two genders? I've seen things that men will never see. I've seen things that most women will never see. And I've seen both of those in one lifetime. I feel incredibly lucky and incredibly blessed. And people ask me all the time, well, if you could go back in time, would you just have been a girl from when you were born? And yeah, maybe, but hey, I can't go back in time. So let's not worry about that. And more importantly, what a wonderful gift I've been given this life. And so there were a lot of times it didn't feel like a gift. There were a lot of times when I struggled and I cried every tear in the world. But in time, I have found my joy. And I think that, that that is one of the mysteries of life. And one of the missions of life is to turn your trouble into your gift, to turn it into your joy and into your love.